I wanted to, to say a few things firstly because I, I think there are some feelings that, that I got yesterday in particular and also over the last few groups that I've done that, about some of the things that I say. Um, one thing I'd like to comment about religion generally is that there's a common viewpoint that because I'm stating the truth about different things, that that then means that I feel that there is no point in any religion and there's no point in any uh, philosophies of life or any of those kind of things. And how I feel is actually quite the opposite to that. How I feel is that absolutely everything that you've ever been led to on your path of development has been needed for you to open up a certain part of your soul, to be ready to hear what you are hearing now. And also, every single person in every, every religion on earth has the ability to directly connect to God. Now obviously, many of them don't, because many of them are so engrossed intellectually in their form of religion that they don't realise that the power is within themselves to connect to God. But, every single person does have the power to connect to God, whatever religion they are in. So if you are currently in a religious form of any type, I'm not ever saying to leave it. What I'm saying is to start incorporate the feelings and emotions that you need to incorporate in order to connect to God directly. Yeah. All right? And once you do that, you will also start talking about truths. You'll start telling the truth. Now, of course, in some religions that might be a bit of a problem. Because some religions are very, very firm about what they believe truth to be. And that is often very different to what God's truth is. And in those kind of religions, you may find yourself excommunicated, um, as I myself have found myself excommunicated. But the important thing for you to realise is that every time you connect to God and speak your truth, you are also helping every single person around you do the same thing. And so, if you want to stay practicing a certain religion, there is no harm in that. Aside from when you are harming your own soul through anything you do to detune from your own emotion. So, if you can bear that in mind, that would be good. So, when I talk about things like Buddha being in the sixth sphere of the spirit world, for example, which is the location he is, in, he is currently in, and that he is not in a state of one went with God, that is not a criticism of, the Buddhist, of Buddha himself or of the Buddhist movement. All it is is a statement of the truth of the matter right now. Now, he has the ability to connect to God just as anyone else here does. He has the ability to actually become at one with God too. But, like all people, we all need to come to accept the truth about where we are at some point in our lives. And that is something that he will need to do as well if he wishes to be at one with God. Now, while that may challenge your personal belief or your personal viewpoint of where Buddhist is in relation to, where Buddha is in relationship to God, all I can do is just stay the truth of what I know at the time. That's all. And it's not it's not a feeling, I don't have a feeling in me of criticism about that. If you have a feeling that I have criticised somebody about that, then that's the feeling of your judgement. Does that make sense? And you need to allow yourself to look at why you feel judgmental about that or why you feel challenged by what I've just said. And that would be the case even if I was lying to you. You still need to look at your own emotions and look at what's challenging you. All right? And whether I'm bopping you in the nose, which hopefully I'll never do, or I'm speaking lovingly to you, either way, there's something going on within you, isn't there? And that's what I'm encouraging you to do, to have a look at what that might be and to work your way through those issues. Now, obviously, if I'm going to bop you in the nose, then you're not going to listen to me for very long. And, uh, and, and that's fine too, in the end, isn't it? You will learn something from that law of attraction that you have put out there. So, with all the comments that I've made about religion generally, and different people in where they are in the spirit world specifically, Please bear in mind that it's not a judgement of them. It's just a statement of the truth about them. You follow me? Mm -hmm. 